Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And uh, this is me bringing you probably my best game of Medal of Honor 2010 edition that I've ever had. In uh, in this game, I was uh, playing with um, one of uh, you guys, one of my subs, um, which is also from Norway, and um, I uh, <laughs> he had recently started playing this game. Uh, I, I believe he had recently purchased it, or he had just started playing it again. But um, I hopped on with him, and you have to remember this gameplay is uh, quite old. Can't remember from when, but um, it's a, it's a, wow, it's actually quite. Uh, it's been a few months, yeah, <laughs> since I played this, and um, as I said, I hadn't played played this game in a while, and um, I just hopped on, and suddenly I did really well. I have no idea why, but um, I ended up doing quite well for myself. Now, you'll have to remember that I'm not. By any stretch of awesome gamer. I mean, what you guys see here on YouTube is just the best of my best. <laughs> it's not how I play every freaking game. Um, I only get like um, one or two decent games if I have a have a night with playing, and um, uh, that's a good night, I guess. Uh, a few, a couple of games. Uh, anything more than that is just um, uh, oddities or. Uh, you know the odd one out, if you know what I mean. So um, uh, this is, as I said, just the uh, creme de la creme, as they say in uh, French. So um, don't be mistaken. But uh, as I said, I did really well in this uh, in this match. And um, look at this, <laughs> I died because I've already taken damage. Apparently, I can't jump that can't jump down that wall and survive if I've taken a few bullets. Now um, back to what I was saying. I, uh, I I usually don't do this well at this game, but um, I suddenly had a streak going for a couple of days where I did really really well in this game for some obscure reason, which I haven't quite figured it out. But um, apparently I, I just got the hang of it all of a sudden. So um, that's me surprised, I guess. And uh, on the note of uh, not being the aw awesome gamer that I seem to be, perhaps, <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, also have to admit that um, not not admit that's wrong. Uh, wrong. Um, I have to say, I guess, that um, I heard someone mention uh, earlier. I, it was a YouTube commentator, not a very well-known one, I guess. I'm not really sure, but what he said that. I'm not, he said, quote, I'm not a hardcore gamer, so I don't get those incredible scores, end quote. Or, that was a paraphrasing, so it wasn't, that wasn't his exact words, but that was the gist of it. And what I thought was, well, you don't have to get good scores to be a hardcore gamer. To be a hardcore gamer doesn't mean that you're an awesome player at multiplayer shooters, at FPS shooters online. That doesn't mean that you're a hardcore gamer. I mean, there's hardcore gamers that play WoW, there's hardcore play gamers who play single player games only. I mean, I've been an on and off core hardcore player for years, I would think. I mean, I don't think of myself that way, but I think that other others kind of would, I guess. and. I didn't start playing online shooters until two years ago, and before that I only played single player games. I mean, it was Modern Warfare 2 that got me into this whole online FPS scene in the first place. So I, I didn't play any uh, online shooters before that really. So um, as I said guys, uh, I'm not an awesome gamer. and. Your skills on the battlefield, pardon the pun, uh, <laughs> it doesn't um, tell, 
it doesn't mean that it's not the measurement of a hardcore gamer or not the uh, measurement that's well the, the kind of definition of a hardcore gamer is one that allots a lot of time to gaming and to playing games and have a real interest into gaming and hardcore kind of implies that it's the extreme so you you've got like um uh, <laughs> part uh, I don't have a better example but you know like hardcore porn for example that's that's kind of the the uh, the extreme of what porn is I guess and that's kind of what I think that hardcore gaming is too it's kind of the extreme it's the people that devotes not necessarily a natural amount but you know a more than common um, uh, a more than common uh, time or more than common time slot of the week to gaming and that's what a hardcore gamer is it's not how good you are and now I've repeated myself multiple times so I'll just leave it at that <laughs> I, I don't think that that kind of differentiation should be misunderstood and I didn't see those guys up at the hell um, well that is a game we won naturally with me beasting like I do <laughs> I'm just I'm just uh, messing around guys well thank you for watching the game is coming to an end and I thank you for watching yes I did that and um, I hope you enjoyed I hope to see you next time Snackis. Oh! <laughs>